My name is Pastor Don Curtis from Victory Face Center in Modesto, and I'm teaching along the line of healing by a touch. And I've mentioned that there's so many accounts in the Bible where Jesus touched people or people touched Jesus and they were healed. But also in Mark 16, and if you read verse 16 through 18, you'll find out that it says, These signs shall follow them that believe. But what are the signs? They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So we can lay hands on the sick as believers and they shall recover. We don't need to be, uh, you know, a pastor or an evangelist or anything. Believers can do this. Why? Because Christ is in us. And uh, one of the things it says in 1 John 4 and 4, ye are God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Well, we know that the devil puts sickness on people, but the greater one's on the inside of us. <laughs> See, and if we'll go around and do what the Bible teaches, and that's why we have the scriptures, so we go around and practice the scriptures, we'll see people set free. Now in Mark 8, 22, it said, And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. They were asking him to touch him. Well, why? Because they were saying every time uh, someone touched Jesus or he touched them, something happened. <laughs> See? And so here they're asking him to touch him, right? In verse 23, and it said, He took the blind man by the hand. So here Jesus is putting his hands on him, taking him by the hand, and he led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, here again, <laughs> Jesus is spitting, you know, when he spit on his eyes, he put his hands upon him, and he asked him if he saw aught. He asked him if he was seeing anything, right? And verse 24, it said, He looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. I see men as trees walking. So uh, here he was seeing people very tall and like trees. Now verse 25, it said, After that, he put his hands up, uh, uh, put his hands again upon his eyes. So the, Jesus did it the second time, put his hands upon him again on his eyes, and made him look up. And it said, and he was restored, and so <coughs> saw every man clearly. He saw every man clearly. Well, in this case, Jesus had to do it twice. You know, uh, I remember Sister Ann used to come to our church all the time. And when she put her hands on people, she didn't just put her hands on people. She'd have them sit in a chair, and she'd put her hands on them and then keep her hands on them for a while. She said sometimes it takes a little time for this healing power, uh, you know, to finish its work in there. And so she'd just keep her hands on people. Now, different people do it different ways, you know. And we know there's evangelists that just touch people, and they fall, and power of God hits them, and they're completely healed. But, you know, when we're talking about uh, you know, different things in the Bible. Sometimes uh, it takes more than just one little tiny touch. Sometimes you might need to keep your hands on a little while. This is the reason that we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit tells us, you know, keep your hands on them for a while, or he'll say, well, move on to the next one. See what I'm saying? So the Holy Spirit will guide us and teach us and whatever we need to do. But bless God, we can get the job done and see people healed and set free in Jesus' name, can't we? Amen.